Hi everyone, welcome to the My Relationship with Food program. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favourite recipes for a gluten-free carrot cake donut with a delicious cream cheese frosting. What you need to do is you need your mixing bowls, so I've got two mixing bowls here. I'm going to add in my liquid ingredients, so I've got two eggs here, so I'm going to add those in. And these are large eggs. Just going to whisk them up. So this is a really delicious recipe that's gluten free. Um, it's not dairy free because I've got the cream cheese frosting, but you could use a dairy free cream cheese. Um, into here now, I'm going to add one of my favorite ingredients, which is a vanilla bean grinder. So I'm just gonna grind that in here. This makes it completely natural and not using any refined sugars. Um, so you can get this in most supermarkets. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of turns. And that's it. It's a favorite uh, ingredient of mine to have in my store cupboard. And then I'm going to add, I'm using rapeseed oil. So that's going in. So I've got my liquid ingredients, which are my two eggs and my oil. And then in a separate bowl here, I'm gonna add in, I've got brown rice flour. So that's going in. This has already been sifted. And then I've got lovely coconut sugar, so that's going in. And then I've got baking powder, gluten-free baking powder. And I've got some lovely sea salt, two pinches of sea salt, that's going in. And then I've got a teaspoon here of cinnamon. And I'm just going to give that a really quick light mix. Just make sure when you're making any cakes, so I've already sifted the flour and the coconut sugar, but before you add in your wet ingredients, just make sure that everything's evenly distributed because you want to make sure that you're going to have baking powder running throughout the donut. So just give it a gentle stir and make sure it's all nice and incorporated. And then into the wet ingredients, I'm going to add my grated carrot. So that's one carrot. And then I've got sultanas here. You can use raisins if you prefer. So those are going in. And then I've got my chopped walnuts here. So I'm just gonna mix those. Okay, so just make sure everything's evenly distributed and mixed in together. Then I'm gonna pour the wet ingredients into my dry ingredients. So I've got my carrot, my egg, my oil, my sultanas, and my walnuts in here. And I'm mixing it in with the dry ingredients. So when you start mixing, it kind of looks like there's not enough liquid mixture, but just keep gently mixing it around and eventually it will all come together. This is quite a, a Christmassy sort of take on a nice healthy donut. Um, it's also Hanukkah just around the corner. So if you're gonna be celebrating either one of those festivities, this is a great um, dessert to be making. Perfect for dessert or a great tea time treat. So keep mixing thoroughly and once the wet ingredients mix with the coconut uh, sugar and the brown flour, it will start to loosen up a bit more. So give that a good mix. Keep mixing and mixing. This is great to do with the kids as well over the festive period. You can get the kids involved in this. It's really easy to make, healthy, lots of uh, vitamins in there and minerals from the coconut sugar to the carrots and the sultanas and the walnuts are packed with amino acids. So this looks really luscious now. Okay, so that's the kind of consistency that I would like. This is my 12 hole non-stick donut hole muffin tray. So I'm just gonna pop these out here. And another tip is, is that I have these blue um, disposable piping bags. So if you're on your own, you can use something like a, a tall asparagus, but this is an asparagus cooker, um, but you can obviously get somebody in the kitchen to help you by holding the bag or possibly use a jug. But I'm just gonna use this because I'm on my own today and just wrap the bag around the edge of the um, container. And this will just help you to put in the mixture or not. Okay, so the bag is over. I'm just 
gonna push that down and then just wipe off the excess mixture from your mixing spoon. Okay, and then I'm going to pour this mixture here, luscious mixture, into the bag. Another top tip is that if you want to make this mixture in advance and you haven't got time to cook it because you're rushing out, you can actually place the mixture in the piping bag and then you can keep that in the fridge and then when you come home, you can pop them um, in the muffin hole tray and then just bake them. Okay, so I'm gonna lift the sides up of the bag. Just push it down. Carefully squeeze out the mixture three quarters of the way around the donut hole tray and then just tilt it upwards around each hole. So this makes 12. Squeeze that there. And these are non-stick um, muffin hole donut trays which you can buy on Amazon or in some good homeware food um, stores. And I'm just going to squeeze again, making sure I don't leave any mixture in the bag. Ensure that there's no mixture left in the bag because you want to ensure that all the donut holes are filled and that everything's even. There's a little bit more there. I think just a little bit more here. You can also, another top tip, is make these in advance the day before and then you can ice them the next day if you need to get ahead of time. So that's it, there's all my trays completely filled up. And now I'm gonna pop these in the oven for 20 minutes. So I've already preheated my oven to 160 degrees on the fan and these are going in. Another top tip, always remember to put your timer on. That's that, they're in the oven now. And now I'm going to make the lovely cream cheese frosting. So my gluten-free carrot cake donuts are cooking away in the oven. I'm now going to make the cream cheese frosting. So I've got my cream cheese here, I've got lemon juice and I've got honey, or you can use agave, and I've got custard powder. And these are my walnuts that I've already chopped to be garnished. Again, I'm gonna be using one of my blue piping bags, which you can buy online. So it's entirely up to you. You could use a nozzle, but I'm just gonna go freestyle and not actually use one. But if you've got a particular nozzle that you like, you can use that. I need my scissors. And again, I need my container, which will help me put in the cream cheese frosting. So again, this is a really easy recipe, which you can get involved with with the kids. So into here, I'm gonna add in my lemon juice. And I've got custard powder, so that's going in. This just helps to thicken the frosting as well and it gives it a lovely yellowy color. And then here I've got my syrup or you can use honey that's going in. So in this recipe, I've used no refined sugars. So that's why I've used coconut sugar in the base of the cake and in the frosting, I'm using my honey or agave. So I'm just gonna mix that together and make sure it's thoroughly combined. Again, as I've mentioned to you before, you can cook your um, cakes and then you could leave them wrapped up once they've cooled in tin foil or cling film. You can actually make your frosting as well and put it into the bag and leave that in the fridge. So if you wanted to make this in a day in advance, make your um, donuts, leave them covered to make sure they're really nice and moist. And then you can just come out quickly and pipe or get the kids to decorate with the walnuts. Um, if you don't like walnuts, um, in the mixture you can change to pecans, it's entirely up to you. And as I've said, if you are dairy free, you can get lots of dairy free cream cheeses on the market. So there's loads of options and there's no excuse to make these delicious gluten free carrot cake donuts. And I'm just going to mix that around one more time. 
and I can't resist it because no one's here to watch, but I've got to taste it. Amazing. I could just eat a bowl of that. Okay, so back to the recipe. Um, I've got my container here just to help me prop up my piping bag. Actually matches my shirt. Um, so that is going around there. Just squeeze it down. Obviously, if you've got someone in the kitchen helping you, you won't need one of these containers. So I'm just gonna add in my mixture here. Pop that down. Just getting the last few bits out of my bowl. So, as I've said, sometimes your kitchens can be quite hot. So the best thing to do is now that you've made your cream cheese frosting, just pull it down and I won't actually cut it until I'm ready to use it. So like this, now I can leave that in the fridge just to let it firm up a bit so that when I'm decorating, it keeps it quite firm. So like that, it will go straight in the fridge. My donuts are still in the oven. I think they've got another 10 minutes to go. I've made my cream cheese frosting. My walnuts have been cut. All I need to do now is ensure that I've got my oven gloves to take them out of the oven. I'm going to leave them to rest for a bit and then I'm gonna show you how you release them from the tray. Then I'm gonna place them on a wire cooling rack and then get ready to decorate. Okay, so my lovely gluten-free donuts have been out of the oven now for five minutes. I've left them in the tray to cool. And now I'm gonna use a little knife here and I'm just going to release the donuts around the edge. And then you just got to gently kind of lift it up and then voila, you've got your lovely gluten-free carrot cake donut. So carry on all around the donuts. Just gently move the knife around the edge and then just give it a slight push up to release. And there we go, these lovely, perfect donuts. I could actually just eat them as they are like this without the frosting. So I've used a non-stick 12 hole donut um, tray um, to ensure that they come out easily. So you can pick one of these up. Um, this is a Wilton tray that I'm using. And I bought this on Amazon. Just try here. Got a little cheeky raisin there. Okay, so I'm just gonna remember to push up lightly with the blade and then it will just come out. And then last but not least, I have my last donut here. So this is a really healthy way of making donuts. It is Hanukkah coming up in a few weeks. So this is a much healthier version to serve donuts. They're not fried. Um, and you've got all your nutrition in there from your brown rice flour to your carrots, to your walnuts and your coconut sugar. So they really are a healthy treat. Okay, so my donuts have been cooling for about 20 minutes and I'm now going to use the cream cheese frosting that I made earlier. I've kept this in the fridge because my kitchen's really hot, so it just keeps it cool. So I'm just gonna nip off the end here with my scissors. Not, you don't want it to be too big. Um, you can use a piping nozzle if you prefer, but I'm just gonna go pretty rustic. And I'm just gonna squeeze them down there, so it's almost like the cream cheese frosting is dripping. So I'm gonna go there. And then I'm gonna decorate these with my walnuts. And then I'm going to give it a little sprinkle of cinnamon for that festive fare. So just when you're piping them, just pipe them slightly higher. You don't really want the bag to hit the um, donut. So I'm just gonna go across. And if you've got any extra cream cheese frosting at the end, you can just put some lines in between because you don't want to waste this delicious frosting. So just make sure you keep pushing down the frosting in the bag. 
So just finishing off with a dusting of cinnamon. And then I'm going to add my walnuts here. So again, this is something fun. Even if you don't get the kids involved in the actual making, you can get them involved with the decorating here. I know that my nephews absolutely love doing decorating. So even if you wanted to make it a little bit more decadent, you could put some chocolate chips on top. Um, I will leave the imagination to yourselves. So decorate them here and then make sure that you've got a lovely serving platter for them. So I'm using this white cake um, tier here. I'm just gonna pop those on there. And as they say in French, voila. So really easy, really simple. Got lots of packed with nutrition there. You've got your carrots in there. You've got your sultanas, you've got your walnuts and um, they just taste absolutely divine and they also look really cute. Okay, so as we all know Christmas is just around the corner so I've made these delicious gluten-free carrot cake donuts so they can either be served at Hanukkah or if you want to serve them at Christmas time you'll actually see that these do look like Christmas puddings with the cream just oozing over the edge.